What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well. We're doing well, we're at the pitch, so we're buzzing to get going. We're joined again by Liam, who we filmed a video with last year, and that was teaching a semi-pro how to knuckle ball, and that was very successful. You guys love that video, so he's done a good deed, we bring him back, and today we've got a sick idea for you guys. Yeah, we are going to do knuckleball top spin and dip against knuckleball dead ball movement, free kick, so I'm in goal. Liam against Sammy, you guys comment down below your favourite technique, your favourite style of knuckleball, and let's get on the video. Yeah, I'm going to focus on dead ball movement, and Liam's going to focus on top spin and dip, because we figured that's probably our preferred shooting technique. So, let's go, enjoy the video. Okay. So it's important to warm up the keeper before you get going. First of all, we're just going to mix up the angles, change the distance up with no wall. So Charlie will be in goal, but there'll be no wall to shoot over. We're going to change the angle up now. We're going center, aiming for the near post. So the wall will be placed as so. We've got to get the yards in, and then we'll be aiming for the top left hand part of the goal. So as you guys know, Liam is a semi-pro footballer and he actually scored a banning free kick this season. So you'll see that now, we'll insert the clip. Yes! And it was such a sick goal and it was an important one as well, wasn't it? Yeah, equalised on the 92nd minute. Equalised on the 92nd minute. So a lot of pressure in those moments. When we're here, we're quite chill. I mean, I get aggy and frustrated within myself, but there's a lot more pressure in a game situation. So fair play to Liam for banning it out right at the end there. That's quality. But we're going to keep going from this distance and angle and hopefully we can get some more goals. 
Moved over now to the right, we're aiming over. The... <laughs> and we've set the tripod up slightly differently now. We've only had it on one bar, so we've had the height here, and now we've raised it to three. I was a bit conscious of the wind, but it seems to have died down a bit. So that is the height of the camera for the next angle. View looks pretty sick. Camera's dead. We're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Done in. Tired. Keep us at peaks with like 60s, but. Yeah, that's why I'm not very good in a minute. <laughs> Double two touch. That's never gonna work, is it? Tell you what. <laughs> As if it is working. <laughs> ah! But I'm still live. But I'm still live, chumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you nice see me. <laughs> 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 And that's a wrap, all done for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to drop it a like if you did. And there's not much point in the dislike button. So, I mean, you can do that, but no one sees it anyway. Just like it, even if you didn't <laughs> like it, just like it. Like it for Liam coming down and joining us today. Yeah. Different free kick styles. Did you guys enjoy them? What were your favorites? Comment down below. And if you did enjoy it, we'll get Liam to come down for more sessions. Yes. So your feedback will basically tell us that if you yeah. want to see it again. And what's interesting about Liam's technique is his run up is very short, a flat footed approach and he goes on his toes towards the end. So you guys might have picked up on that and it's reassuring to you to know that there are various knuckleball techniques that you can do and find the one that suits you. That's what we'll always say. Find a technique that suits you. You would have seen some top comments from my last video as we're talking. Thanks for all the comments and we'll see you in two weeks. Knuckle it.